marriage of extremely personal attacks uh, on my person and that of the Nyong administration by none other than Kisumu Senator, Honorable Outa. These blistering attacks often carried out in funerals, radio, press talk shows, Changa dance and beer parlors, and with the aid of other forces of darkness, which include his various surrogates and factorums, including in traditional media and social media, is very misplaced, misguided, misinformed, and unfair to both young administration. This is now taking a dangerous trend that if Outa's and un inspiring conduct is left unchecked, I am afraid he may soon graduate into a complete disaster, callously demolishing people's lives and career. Senator Uta has been in the forefront of these malicious attacks to a section of Nyongo's administration. On Monday, he stated that some tender has been awarded irregularly by two officers. All these are baseless lies. What we have established is that Senator Uta formed a belief that the Nyongo administration is a passing government. He is, held host he, he is held hostage by politics of 2022 with the dream that such schemes of peddling lies to the people of Kisumu will give an edge, will give him an edge or some political mileage for his false political ambitions. He is indirectly declaring his candidature for governor in 2022 and all of us are aware of that. Senator Uta harbors a strong belief that it is by his whims that the Nyongo administration came into existence and he needs a substantial portion of control in Nyongo administration. He has, a, he has a wrong perception and the correct position is that there is one governor in Kisumu County who is in charge. The governor entered into a social contract with Kisumu people and is working tirelessly to meet their expectations. Senator Uta must be reminded unequivocally that there is only one governor in Kisumu County, and that governor is Professor Peter Anyangnyongo. There is no coalition or power sharing government here whatsoever, and thus, Senator Uta's hostage of politics of demanding 50% share of the government is wicked and unconstitutional. That is the genesis of this worthless conflict ignited by Senator Uta and his forces of darkness, keen to forestall meaningful progress through destruction and toxic politics. This is not the kind of political blackmail Kisumu needs right now. The country, the county is desirous of impactful development. Senator Uta must stop being functionally illiterate. He is a senator, a whole senator, not a conspiracy theorist. Instead of gallivanting all over the place, gibbering like someone totally unaware of his job description, let him turn to Article 96 of the Constitution and bring himself up to speed with his functions as itemized, which, if properly practiced, will still greatly benefit the Commonwealth of Kisumu. If Honeto Uta has a personal problem with Governor Nyongo, let him face him man, man on man. Let him be gentleman and seek better ways of addressing it instead of attacking technocrats in Nyongo's government. But importantly, does it mean he is illiterate on his functions as a senator or like the dealers of Greek mythology? Outa's inordinate ambitions and rapacious appetite has already crossed the point of no return. Who is in, who is in no return here? The people of Kisumu, Nyongo or Outa himself? Instead of engaging in such and profitable errands, I challenge Outa and his supporters to work together with the governor and government of Kisumu to realize the tangible meaningful development. Outa's cup is full as a senator. I repeat, if he is not cognizant of his functions, let him consult Article 96 of the Constitution. While Senator Outa, Outa has been complaining for share for the last three months, Governor Nyongo has completed his immediate implementation of 10 things. With a single, with, with, with no single, sorry, with no single allocation from national government, among them is the city is clean, street lights are lighting, and order has been restored in in town. Kachok Dam Town is going down. Kisumu hosted Kisumu hosted a national agricultural meeting to solve problems in the sugar industry. Debt reduction solution has been sought. Thank you. 
nothing can be further from the truth, as you put it. Uh, the, the Senator Uta is aware that the Kisumu County government has not received a single penny, even for development. And it's very outrageous for him to sit in a place and talk in funerals that a tender with 200 million has been issued. That is false, and uh, it, it is hell-bent to pursue his political agenda. And let him pursue his political agenda strategically. There's no problem. He has a right to do that, but not through mud slinging and throwing mud at people with peddling lies. Do, do you have anything personal with him, yourself? No, we have been friends. I don't have anything personal, and that's why I was shocked for him to mention my name. I was a director of the station. I don't even get involved in roads or anything. I don't know why he had to drag my name to such silly outbursts. Is it true that uh, you have been removed from the administration, and could it be as a result of uh, an admission made by a senator? No. Um, my, my transfer for administration to political advisor and head of the regional block, uh, regional block secretariat was a normal transfer. When we came in, there was no structure, so I was just holding brief in the administration until the places have been filled. You know, the CECs are now come to place and the government is taking shape. So we have agreed the government that I can serve him better in the political advisor position and head our deputy secretary. There's nothing that remove him. Uta is not the person to remove me from any office. He's the governor. We have one governor and that's what he has to do.